quick one here. So I uh, just wanted to go over what I found with this Taurus. I didn't think it would be interesting, so I didn't film it. But uh, it got interesting. So uh, real quick. So uh, cylinder 5 was dead. Spark plugs like all covered in oil and gas. I put a new spark plug in. That was it, just one plug right here. I'll show you my theory or my thought process behind this. They said it had a misfire. Had a P0305. Came in here. I did clear flood like that. Sounded good. So then I started it up. And you can hear the mess. So then what I did real quick, came up here, pulled the plug, and you can actually see it arc. So that was good. Confirmed that I had spark. That's when I did the plug. And then after that, uh, my power balance. Well, actually, I did the power balance first before I came up here. Power balance for the cylinder 5. Well, so if I pull off this one, 6, you can see 6 drops down. Go to 4, 4 drops down. So it's only 5. I'm going to go back and show you guys the codes and also set them for the other cylinders. And I'm like, well, that's it. Uh, did we have like a, cause I thought maybe this plug might have been bad because how much oil and fuel was on it. So then I looked up a wiring diagram after I did all this and see if it's uh, I'll take a little bit. So I found this is the main PCM fuse. They got cylinder 5, it is a curve. P005 and P0315 and so this is our main PCM fuse, 30 amp. These are PCM, coils, I think fuel pump, and injectors. So then uh, I came down here and I scoped this. Let me take this test light off. So this test light was on power. I didn't have a control signal on our yellow trace here. Green's current, you can see that. But I was missing the, I put a peak detect back on. I saw the coils. But I couldn't make out the injectors too well, so I'm like, well, that's odd. Then I came down here and we had no voltage. We should be seeing 12 volts when it's not turned on, so I'm like, that's odd. So then I uh, put my test light on here, connected it to battery positive, and I started flipping. So now with the scope on there, see when the yellow trace comes by? That's our driver turning it on. You can see it flickering. So. Plus we got a bit of power to the uh, injector, we got an open in our injector. I don't know which red wire feeds our injector because they're all red. So uh, I'm going to see if the parts store has an injector. We'll take this apart and then we'll check our power at our injector because I'd have to pierce all the wires to check it because I can't get to a connector. So I'm going to see if they have an injector before I take this off and then uh, we'll fix that. Okay guys, so I, I uh, tested the power wire. We had power here on this red wire, that pin. So I lit my test light, so I'm not worried about that. And I uh, got another injector. We're just gonna put one injector in. I'll do the plugs and wires. So I'm gonna get this put back together and uh, hopefully it'll run good. And uh, I guess we'll do the wires and spark plugs while we have this intake lifted up. Seems like they'll be pretty easy to get to. Hey guys, our new injector's right there, the black one. Got everything back together, so we'll uh, lower this intake back down, bolt it all up, and got new plugs, new wires. There's our old wires. Old plugs are right there, some of them are oily. Some of the valve covers need to be replaced, but I can only do so much while I'm in here. And it's a used car lot. Okay guys, I got the car all back together. Spent like an hour looking for a screwdriver I dropped. Let's start this up. Haven't even started yet. Ice cold. Sounds like we got a vacuum.
Uh, maybe it's just the sound of the intake. Let's look at our fuel trims. Because our misfire seems to be gone. Hopefully it's not like an injector or anything. Oh, we got an injector leaking. Gotta shut this off, it's spraying down. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. That was just spraying down right there. Hmm, we're gonna have to get new O-rings. I bet. I'll have to pop that up. Let me get this back off again. Okay guys, I put the old injector on there. I don't see anything leaking anymore. So, I think we're good to go. Yep, I don't see anything. So that old, that O-ring on the corner. Four. So yeah, nothing's leaking. I can probably show you guys. I think I said it in here. Yeah, here's the old O-ring. So even though I lifted up, it must have got pinched and tore. It is what it is. Like I said, it's used quite a lot. And I think tomorrow it's supposed to rain, so. The fuel trims. The fuel trims look amazing. So that's good. Um, let's get back to our misfire. Get back hot functions. Cylinder, power balance. I think everything else is good. Okay. Look at that. Smooth as butter. So I hope you guys like this. I guess I got longer in the fix than I was with Diag since I didn't record the whole thing. See you guys later.